okay this uh sorry for that previous video just uh, i have the limit up to 10 minutes and uh, here we'll continue the dt btp and here you can see and last we discussed it about revision number once more we'll uh, once more we'll start from the beginning and here you can see it's a 32 bit number 32 bit configuration that means it is value can be happen uh, from uh, 0 to 0 to any value that is uh, 0 to 2 raised to 32 that is a good formula any value can be uh, happen that means revision number is nothing but it's a uh, you you know that uh, it's it's uh, if anything happen if any change happen if any uh, vlan created or deleted any any change happen it will increment by one that means if i type if i deleted three times the vlan and i added three times the vlan total term number of six times i what i changed the configuration that means the revision number will become six got the idea and like this the revision number will become change okay and as i said before uh, higher number of percent newer database uh, and the switch will only accept from the higher to lower as you can see from if uh, if my if i change any configuration from in the server it will become four okay you just think that initially it is uh, sorry this is a client uh, initially it is three okay you just think that initially it is three and uh, if i change this configuration means uh, it will move the information to higher to lower but it will not move to lower to higher the information from lower to higher will not happen okay that you want to know and uh, next is some uh, idea regarding before getting in the production network we want some revision number problems are there and uh, we know that it will always accept it will not always accept from the higher higher revision number to the lower okay and the problem with that is uh, any okay if i introduce it as switch if i introduce it as switch, you just think that uh, this is a switch uh, okay okay uh, initially this switch is have higher higher what higher revision number higher revision number it will uh, it will send the what update to everyone and uh, when i introduce a new switch new switch okay new switch with uh, 11 the revision number is 11 but there is no configuration inside what no configuration inside this switch but the revision number is 11 the revision number they forgot to change the revision number uh, so the thing the thing the problem with this is the the switches below that it, they will think that ah oh, he is the superior guy he know everything okay so this blank data is distributed to everyone and they are they all become updated to 11 and what's the problem is that it it, it 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 contain no information every vlan database is corrupted and everything is gone every data is gone okay so you must be very careful in the production network whenever a switch whenever a modification whenever a new switch uh, what bringing to it the your network means you want to you want to change the revision number to the zero otherwise it will create a huge problem huge loss to your company and uh, you want to change that revision number to zero okay i will tell how how you can how you can convert this revision number to zero okay there is two possible way uh, you can see that and uh, here uh, one way is changing the domain name okay during the lab night uh, lab time i can i will explain this once more how you can do the changing uh, change the domain name uh, i will tell after some time and uh, one method you just understand the method by changing the domain name okay changing the domain name and change it back again same name it's okay and uh, change it back again it will be refreshed and it will the revision number will become zero okay revision number will become zero and one more thing is there we can change the mode into we said that we have three modes client mode server mode and transparent mode change the mode into the transparent and then change it back to whatever you want okay change back to server or client or anything okay uh, the reason behind changing the back to transparent is the transparent switches always have a revision number of zero because they are not going to update any information from the server is creating they are not replicating any information they are not synchronizing any information in their database VLAN database 
got the idea okay so whenever you add a new switch to your network you just you should you should convert that uh, revision number to zero to method we have we can change the domain name into uh, domain name change the domain name uh, or delete the domain name or change the domain name to some other or change it to back to again okay if you, the domain name is nizam uh, you just change to from to uh, any other name okay Oh, any other name and then change back to Nissan itself. Then the revision number will become what? Revision number will become zero. Okay, and here you can see that one. Okay, transfer. You can also do transparent mode, convert into the transparent mode, then change it back to server or client mode. Okay, how to change these things you will understand during the lab session. Okay and uh, go to the next thing that means vtp advertisement we have some message so it's very important to know what and all things are happening what and all advertisement message you know you as you know hello messages is uh, uh, like their whole time uh, hello messages these things are like this uh, every everything has some advertisement how it is happening is it, uh, sort of some message types or other type of some uh, advertisement you can do them okay and we have three type of advertisement or message types here and uh, you can see the summary subset and uh, advertisement request okay request okay sorry and uh, summary summary advertisement is there then subset advertisement and uh, advertisement request okay we want to know what is summary advertisement okay so I, I said that it is like our hello messages okay but it is sending in every 300 second that means uh, it's for uh, just an update every 300 second uh, we are uh, we are checking the reachability we are checking the vtp information is correct or we are checking the we, you can see here this much things we will check here vtp version is it version we have three version we'll discuss it later uh, we want v2v3 is it correct or not domain name we'll uh, check for the domain name is correct for is match matching or not and uh, we will uh, check for the configuration configuration revision number revision number is the revision number is higher lower or medium or anything everything it will be the timestamp how much time uh, it is going to work it will uh, after 300 seconds if you want to check again okay timestamp will be the md5 for the uh, for checking the integrity and uh, uh, the indication uh, you want to know the is it correct mm, to match is it matching like that these things will be there in the summary advertisement it will send in a very every 300 second okay and summary advertisement not only send in every 300 second whenever a change occurs also the summary uh, summary advertisement will be there Whenever a change occurs means if I if the servers create a, uh, any new VLAN or new data, he, what he will do, he will uh, there is a change of port. So at that time, uh, what he will do, he will generate a summary advertisement and he will send to uh, his neighbors. Good idea. And uh, moving to the next advertisement, that is a uh, subset advertisement. I said that whenever a change occurs, not only the summary is happening, one more thing is happening that is subset advertisement. It is nothing but three things are common here, VTP version, domain name and the uh, configuration revision number. We are, okay, extra is VLAN ID, a new if, if uh, new VLAN ID, that means uh, a new VLAN created, that VLAN ID, we want to change VLAN ID that we want to give to every switches, every switches. If a new VLAN, VLAN 10 is added, that VLAN ID want to share to every switches, that is through subset advertisement and one more thing is there vlan specific information that is uh, vlan name if if you give a vlan name to that uh, to that uh, vlan that should be passed to every other switches okay at that time through the subset advertisement it is getting the other switches also getting the new about the information about the new vlan what is its name what is the size of what is the uh, what is the button roll that has are in that new vlan and uh, an mtu what is the maximum transmission unit uh, which is set uh, set for the new vlan like that so many information will be there in the subset advertisement okay and uh, first one important note is the and uh, so just only accept okay listen here so just only accept summary and subset advertisement if and only if the domain and md5 matches okay domain name okay if the domain name is nizam and uh, another domain name is nizam means it will not support it should it should match it should match it should match then only it will work it will work that means domain name should match between the vtp and md5 also match md5 that is uh, the deviation uh, should match between the message that uh, should match because otherwise it will not uh, it will not accept the summary or subset advertisement